So here we are, arriving at our campsite for the first time. Complete caravan newbies. Our first time out with the base camp. And desperately hoping that we don't look too much out of place. The caravan site we're staying at is called Plas Farm near Abergelly in North Wales. It's a beautiful site with immaculate facilities. Spacious pitches overlooked by the Welsh countryside. There are beautiful flowers and flower beds nestled in every corner. Of course, traditional farm buildings and the local residents to say hello to. So how did we find ourselves here? Well, after months of deliberation, we finally bought our base camp. It's a 2020 model where the second owners and I towed it home from Doncaster a few weeks prior and it's been on our drive since whilst I've been learning the ropes with it. There are startup costs. First up is the tow ball. I went for the Westphalia detachable tow ball and the electrics are installed with it and hidden under the rear bumper. From a security perspective, the van came with the Malenko wheel lock. I added the Malenko hitch lock and I also added a Malenko steady lock for complete security. And finally, towing mirrors. They are a legal requirement, so they need to be purchased also. So I'm using the motor mover to pull the van up the drive and nudge it to the tow ball at the back of the car. However, it doesn't take me long to make my first newbie mistake and I try to pull off with the motor mover still engaged. So after quickly rectifying that problem, I pull the base camp off the drive. I had been very anxious about getting the base camp off the drive with the narrow space between the hedge and the gate post and parked cars on the street but it follows the car easily and it was a stress-free experience getting it off the drive for the first time. No problem at all. Towing the base camp transpires to be very easy. It's lightweight, very stable and there's a slight pulling on the back of the car. In terms of a fuel consumption, my 2 litre diesel normally runs approximately 11 pence per mile and I've worked out towing the base camp, the fuel consumption is 20 pence per mile. Arriving on the campsite, I am relieved to see that the reception was easy and I could just pull up alongside. And then once I found my pitch, I used the motor mover to get on the pitch, albeit I did forget to tighten the jockey wheel and drop the van on its A-frame. After all that excitement, it was time for a cold beer. And just a short stroll from the campsite is the lovely Wheat Sheaf Inn in Bettersine Rose. It's a lovely Welsh traditional pub and we enjoyed a few cold ones there before heading back to the van for some grub. In the evenings the base camp really is a comfortable space to sit back, relax and watch a film. And after a restful night's sleep, it was up early in the morning to walk the dog around the gorgeous campsite before heading back for a brew and then going to the nearby beach for another walk. All too soon, our first base camp adventure is coming to an end and it's time to head home. And this is where I drop the next clanger. I pull off without connecting my electrics. Now fortunately, I realized the mistake before I got to the campsite gate and connected them. Towing the base camp home, I have total peace of mind that I'm gonna be able to get it back on my drive easily with the use of the motor mover. 
The Motor Mover really is the get out of jail free card for newbies such as myself. Another clangor I made on our weekend was relating to the cassette toilet. Complete operator of it. So the process for using the toilet is obviously you lift your seat up, you open the toilet and uh, you use the toilet. You then flush the toilet, close it and obviously close the lid. Now what we were doing is we were using the toilet, then opening the lever flushing it closing it and i also put a water seal into the into the into the bowl there and what happened was that water seal then flooded the cassette compartment underneath the toilet so that was complete operator error um, i took one for the team there so that uh, hopefully you don't have to and you don't make that same mistake so first time out in the van and there was a multitude of sins multitude of newbie errors that I made. So number one, trying to pull off with the motor mover. Number two, not tightening the jockey wheel when I arrived on site and then obviously the caravan dipped on the, on its A-frame. Number three and the biggest whopper of all was when leaving the campsite I didn't connect the electrics. Now fortunately I spotted that before I left the site and corrected that but that could have been a whopper. And then number four is the toilet cassette. So Check the manual and make sure you're using the toilet cassette as stated in the manual to avoid flooding the toilet cassette as I did. But other than that, you know, absolutely fantastic weekend. The van is it is just brilliant. The, the design, how compact it is, how, the comfort of it, um, how easy it is to tow. You know, having uh, now owning one and doing our first trip in it, I can see why they're, they're so popular. So keep an eye on this channel for more updates to come. Thanks for watching.